All right, friends, welcome back. Today for math, we're gonna continue hitting our learning target of comparing numbers. So our learning target says, I can compare numbers. We've been practicing that a lot, a lot, a lot. And we've been using some math vocabulary to help us do that. So let's use three and one as our first example. Show me three on your fingers and a one on your other hand. Okay. We're going to compare these two numbers by first making dancing partners. So go ahead and make your dancing partners. Now, which group has extras without dancing partners? Your group of one or group of three? Your group of three. So that means your group of three has what? More. Good. So now we know how we can compare these two. Let's move our three up and we're going to say three is greater than one. Ready? Go. Three is greater than one. And we're gonna move our one down and say one is what? Less than three, good, so let's do it. And one is less than three, excellent job. Now let's compare a two and a two. Show me two on one hand and two on the other. Good, now let's make our dancing partners. Ooh, do we have any dancing by themselves or left over? No siree. Our two groups have the same amount. So that means in math, we use what word to say that they are the same? Very good, we say they are equal. So I want you to repeat after me. Two is equal to two, ready, go. Two is equal to two. We have the same amount in each group. One, two, and one, two. Good, we're gonna be doing the exact same thing today in our lesson, but this time, we are going to be illustrating using shapes to show how many are in each group to help us compare. So instead of counting and marking out, we will be drawing the objects ourselves. So let's take a look at our solvent chair on page 115. We have our good old friend Marta right here. And it says that Marta is building a tower. She's using red and blue blocks. We're gonna count how many red blocks and how many blue blocks she uses. We're gonna write our numbers to tell how many, and then we're gonna do what we've been doing. We're gonna circle the number that's greater and X the number that is less. So let's start with what our list tells us to start with. Which color are we going to count first? Good, the red. So let's count and mark out our red blocks. Ready? One, two, three. How many are there? Three around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to make a three. Okay, now we're gonna count our blue blocks. Let's count them, ready? One, two, three, four, five, good. We're gonna write our five next to our blue. Straight line down, halfway around, hat on top, five is found. Now we need to compare to see which one's greater and which one's less, or if she has an equal amount. So to help us, let's use our fingers again. Show me three and show me five. Let's make our dancing partners. Okay, now we're gonna see if any groups have any leftover dancing by themselves. And yes, they do. What group is that? Five. So we say that five is what? Five is greater than three, and three is less than five. Good. So go ahead and circle your five to show it's greater, and X your three to show it's less. We also know that three is less than five because as we've been using our number line, we see that three comes before five. We count three before five. Go ahead and flip to page 116, our guided practice. Our directions tell us to compare the numbers, then draw a circle around the number that's greater and draw a circle around both if they are equal, okay? So here we go. Let's look at our balloons. So we already have the number one labeled next to the balloons. So they want us to trace the balloon, the shape of the lines there. 
So let's count and mark out our one balloon. And then they tell us there's four. So we're going to do one, two, three, four balloons. And then we're going to count and mark them out. One, two, three, four. Now our directions for this first problem tells us to only circle the number that's greater. So we can look at our balloons and we see that, oh, these guys are dancing partners. But do these three have any matches, any dancing partners? No, they're dancing by themselves. So this shows us that which group has more? Four. Four has three more than one because these three balloons don't have dancing partners. So which number is greater? Four, so circle your four. Now this time we're gonna do the same thing, but this time they want us to mark an X on the number that's less. So let's count our group of three and make our balloons. So we have one, two, three balloons. Now let's count and mark them out. One, two, three. Okay, now we have two balloons down here. Let's trace them. One, two, and let's count and mark them out. One, two balloons. Now, which group does not have a dancing partner? Three. Three is one more than two. We see our groups getting bigger as our number gets bigger. So, we are going to mark an X on the number that is less, which is what? Two. Good. All right. We are going to flip now to page 117, but this is going to be your independent practice worksheet. This is the sheet that you're gonna to post to your teacher's Google Classroom. So look at this sheet with these two friends on it and say, see you soon, and flip to page 118. All right. Our directions for number seven tell us to mark an X on the number that is less than the other number or draw a circle around both numbers if they are equal or the same. So in order for our brains to understand which is more or less, we are going to draw circles for each group. So for our number three, we're going to make how many circles? Three, but we're going to do it right next to our three so that our brains don't get confused. So let's make three circles. One, two, three. And let's count and mark them out to make sure we have three. One, two, three. Now for our number one, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna draw one circle. And let's count and mark it out to make sure we have one. Now, let's make a dancing partner here. Which group do not have any dancing partners? Three, which means they have more in their group because they have two extras that don't have anyone to dance with. So we say that three is two more than one. So we're gonna mark an X on the one to show it's less. Okay, let's see what our direction tell us for eight. It says draw a circle around the number that is greater than the other number or draw a circle around both numbers if they're equal. So let's make our circles next to our numbers. Ready? One, two, three, four. And let's mark them out to count them. One, two, three, four. And then let's make our circles for two. One, two, and count them. One, two. Now let's make dancing partners. We have dancing partners here, and there's a group of some extras dancing by themselves. So what does that mean? That four is greater than two. So circle your four. And we're not going to exit because our direction tells us to just circle it. Okay? Now we have two challengers on this side. Number nine tells us we're going to look at the number card and then we're going to write the number that is equal to the number in the number card. So what number do you see in there? Five. So what is the number that is equal to five? Five, because it's the same as five. So go ahead and write your five on the line. OK. 
Okay. Now, we're going to draw to show that we have five in each group. So let's draw five circles. One, two, three, four, five. And mark them out and count. One, two, three, four, five. Then let's do the same for the bottom one. One, two, three, four, five. And count. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we see that all of them have dancing partners. There's no leftovers. Okay. Our next challenger says, look at the number card, then write a number that is less than the number that we see and draw a picture to match. So on this one, let's go ahead and draw two circles. One, two, and mark them out. One, two. If we look at our number line, I'm just going to draw this on here so you can see it. What are some numbers that we could write on the line and then draw that are less than two? We have zero or one. We can't do two because it's equal to two. Zero is less than or smaller than two. One is less than or smaller than two also. So let's write a one and then let's draw a circle and mark it out to show that one is less than two. And if we have our dancing partners, we see that one is left over in our group of two. Great job, friends. Great job comparing numbers. This is a hard, hard skill for friends to learn, and we're learning it right off the bat. So you've been doing a great job. We're going to flip back to page 117, and this is your math activity that you're going to complete and post to your teacher's Google Classroom. So you're going to draw the pictures to match the number, and then it tells different directions for what to do on each problem. So the adult that's with you is going to tell you what to do. So it says draw a circle around the number for numbers three and four. You're going to draw a circle around the number that is greater than the other or draw a circle around both if they're equal. But for numbers five and six, you are going to mark out the number that is less. So mark an X on the number that is less. So for these two, draw your pictures, circle the number that's greater. For these two, draw your pictures, X the number that is less. Get it, got it? Good. All right. Have a great day, friends. I'll see you tomorrow for math.